Hello and welcome, my name is Bella and I'm just taking a little coffee break because I have been cleaning for two days. We were sick with a cold. We hunkered down primarily in my bedroom and the living room. So I really wanna focus on cleaning. I made a list of things that I want to get done or that I have gotten done and I'm hoping that I can get most of them done today. I'm going to be doing like a little bit of a deeper clean I wanted to wash the walls, get a carpet cleaner on our carpets, and like feel like it was a spring clean, do some of the things that I don't normally do. But before that, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Valencia Home Theater Seating for gifting us this beautiful leather sofa behind me. They asked if they could gift me a sofa, and I said yes for many reasons. One, it absolutely suits my mid-century modern aesthetic that I do gravitate towards. And two, I'm able to now gift my old sofa, which is not even that old, it's 2021, to my little sister who just bought her very first house. She is slowly furnishing it. She's still in university, so I'm gonna make the drive end of April because she has finals, but I'm very happy that I'm able to grab this beautiful sofa that is warming up our living room and also be able to give my sister our old one. So I'm very excited to go see her. I just wanted to kind of do like a little midday, mid clean pause to say a big thank you. I'm gonna go in greater detail in my living room clean, which I'm doing, I'm halfway done eh, right now. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you and I hope you guys continue watching. Well, let's get into it. I'm about to get pulled away to play with Draven, but how cute is Denver's little noises? He's talking so much. Yes, honey. Sitting on a soft surface like this bed just next levels his PT for sitting. It's difficult, it, it engages his trunk strength. So we practiced for a little bit, but then he kind of just was over it and was topping over. So I put him right in front of me while I did a mountain of laundry. And there was even a load that I didn't even put in here. I forgot about it in the dryer, so I did it off camera, but it was probably a week and a half's worth. Yeah. When I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told me. If only it took this long in real time, but I put on a podcast, I watched Denver play and I just got it done. I uh, it, it's it's my least favorite chore, hands down, easily. Easily. Alex took both the boys downstairs now. And this is kind of my process of laundry. I organize by person, so I have me, the two boys, and then Alex. And I do mostly no fold except for us. For the kids, I just kind of have drawers for shirts and socks and pants. And I try to make it easy because Draven dresses himself. I don't want to worry about him unfolding things. And it's honestly just easier for us, so that's why we do that. But for us, I do fold. Our bathroom is a mess. I'm gonna get to it, but 
we have an ensuite with a closet over there. So I'm gonna put ours away off camera so you guys don't have to be kind of bored with putting away more laundry. I am fading, but I'm gonna finish our room and the ensuite. I took a drink break. I played with the kids for a bit downstairs and I'm just gonna get a little second wind and finish this. <laughs> I switched the laundry over for our bed. He is very tired because we were sick. I've been monitoring his O2. It's in the range that they want. He's only on one liter still. So I'm happy with where he's sitting at, but he does, he is still tired. So I'm going to offer him a nap and I know you're gonna sleep. Uh. I do. So we're gonna go do that and I'm gonna finish our room. Hey. Since I'm spring cleaning, I'm going to wash my baseboards with a rag and use this mop and bucket on my walls. I do not do that as often as I've seen people online do it. I think like maybe once, twice a year, like spring and fall. <laughs> but I'm going to do this room and the bathroom at least today. I don't expect them to be that dirty we don't live on an acreage on a dusty road or anything and i kind of if i see anything dirty i kind of wipe it down as i clean but it's nice to kind of get this off my list Okay, if you have one of these laser vacuums from Dyson, like I do, you know it is a lot more fun to vacuum in the dark for the simple reason of, look at this, look. You can kind of see here, I'm picking up all of this dust. It is quite satisfying. Vacuuming and carpet cleaning is my labor of love. I do really like having this cross wave also. I do want to try to find a cordless version. I've only ever had a cross wave, so I'm open to hearing your recommendations. If you like the Tinco one, if you like the Dream Tech one, I'm in the market, so let me know what you guys use. Yeah, that's a good one. Did you get them on your own? Yeah. Good job. I know it might sound weird that I keep my favorite gift I've ever received in our bathroom, but that picture that I just cleaned, it is mine and Alex's wedding vows. A friend gave it to me and Alex for our wedding gift, and it is very sweet. I like having it here because every morning when we brush our teeth, we can take a look at it. Yeah, <laughs> I really like it. Um, just wanna apologize, this lighting in this bathroom is very orange. I am a warm light girly, however, that does not portray well on camera, so I'm sorry. <laughs> also, cleaning bathrooms is not the most aesthetic, but it, it, it needs to get done. And honestly, I don't, I don't hate it as much as most people do. I know everyone complains about it. I feel like they're a small room. They're easy to me. Honestly, I think the my least favorite part to clean in a house is the kitchen. Yeah, probably. All right, here's Denver in his big boy wheelchair. We're still so in love and I am making my bed. This is my favorite part to clean in a day. I got this duvet cover from the thrift store. Hate on it if you want. I don't mind buying stuff from the thrift store like duvet covers or anything like that. I just wash them really well when I get home. And this is hotel quality for sure. It is very thick, very heavy. It has a nice texture. <laughs> so here I am finishing while Alex goes and makes dinner with the boys. And I am very happy with how our room is looking. 
would you believe me if I told you it is now dinner time and I'm just finishing? But it looks really good, it smells really good. We're done. <laughs> what do you think about the clean room? The moon. What do I think about it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think... No, it's for mommy. I think mommy You didn't works. eat your dinner, honey. I think mommy worked very hard to keep this <laughs> very clean. This took very long. I believe it. But you know what? I can't walk it. You put your book away? Yeah. I'm sorry. You can stay out. I'm sorry. Be... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you hate when I do that. <laughs> like now I have to reach in the pull out again. Minor inconvenience, though. Here is a little glimpse of what our house looks like right now. It looks worse in person, I think. The kitchen's, the kitchen's probably the worst. <laughs> so bad. Don't look. <laughs> so bad. But I'm going to get to. I'm going to get through this in the next few days. Hi, okay, the part that I'm the most excited for, the part that I got to pick out my sofa. I ended up going with the artisan leather sofa. However, I was kind of going back and forth between that one and the Jasper leather sofa. I went with the artisan three-seater leather sofa because it was a very easy switch to what we already had. It was honestly the exact same dimensions and I really liked the legs on this one <laughs> because it goes with that mid-century look. So it was honestly an, a no-brainer for me. However, I did contemplate the Jasper leather sofa because it was a bit longer and the seating area was a bit bigger. But again, I just, I really liked the wood look on the other one and um, the mid-century feel. I knew that the sofa was coming, so it lit a fire under me to get this TV up. It has been three years and I have not done it, so today I'm doing it. I probably shouldn't have done it alone, but I did. I'm so stubborn. So this is my old sofa. It's not as firm and it's structured as I personally like. And yeah, I don't like, that was probably the part that bugged me the most. Second, I didn't like how Draven could easily, very easily unzip these and pull the cushion fluff out, <laughs> which he did quite a few times. So I was excited to get a new sofa, honestly, for those two reasons alone. And I was so excited to unbox it. So here I am. I'm trying very hard not to cut the box too much, break the box too much. I wanted Draven to make it a boat <laughs> or a rocket ship, which he has done both since we've gotten this. If you listened closely in the last clips with my husband, you can hear us talking about making it a boat. We all sat in it as a family and played Pirates of the Caribbean songs. <laughs> I should have honestly got that on camera. It was really cute. But here I am just unboxing it. I really wanted to inspect it, make sure nothing was punctured, nothing looked off. And honestly, it was perfect. The box even was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. So I was really happy with it. I'm about to get very humbled. I could not do this on my own. I could not lift it on my own, even onto its side. It was very sturdy. Even my husband is stating here how heavy and sturdy it is, especially compared to our last one. I'm shocked how heavy it was. I took our last one downstairs all the way on my own. There is no way I could do that with this couch. It is so sturdy, so solid. <laughs> I am very impressed. It came with the legs tucked in that like canvas material on the bottom. You just had to unzip it and pull them out. It was really easy, it took under 10 minutes. It looks very nice. Yeah, but it's heavy. This was an upgrade in every capacity I could have asked for. Not only is it made from top grain leather, which patinas over time, I absolutely love when leather gets that like character that different color i'm really excited for us to have it long enough to see that 
I was just admiring the firmness of these cushions. I love that this is the starting point for the structure because obviously it's going to get softer with age, but knowing that this is the shape that it has right now, it just, it fixed my problem with our old sofa. So I'm very happy. But it's also made with alder wood so these legs that you see are made from alder wood which is a very big upgrade from our particle board that we had before and honestly you could feel the difference like i said it was heavy you could tell it was very sturdy along with that like i said before my last couch i did not like the stuffing situation complete upgrade there's no way that draven is getting in there and pulling it out that <laughs> even the bag that the stuffing is in is very sturdy there's absolutely no way he's ripping that through with his nails and this is my clip of my family enjoying the couch for the first time they're all so sweet my whole world on one sofa Okay, this is so sweet, my heart. But I just wanted to point out that Valencia Home Theater seating had a excellent, excellent shipping service. I did not have to worry about a thing. I didn't have to rent a U-Haul like I've had to do in the past. When we ordered our last furniture when we first moved in, we had to rent a U-Haul. It was um, a hailstorm that day. My husband could tell you a whole story. It was a whole whole ordeal but to not have to worry was just so nice it came to my front door they actually put it into my living room for me and yeah 10 out of 10 i even reached out and told them that because i personally have never had a service like that where <laughs> they've brought it to my front door we live in a small town so it's always a struggle but yeah this was not a worry at all Okay, as you can tell, there's some out of season, Christmas, fall, library books, broken books. This was a great opportunity to go through the books that we have. Something about books I always say yes to. I always like to cultivate a culture of reading. The more books we have, the more interested Draven is. He likes getting new books. He likes going to the library. We like to check out the book section at the thrift store, but it was nice to kind of do a clean out. So here I am just cleaning it out, cleaning the plant. It was dusty. These are things that I don't do all the time, but it was very needed. <laughs> I read a post somewhere where they're like, one day you're not going to have these handprint smudges on your window. And because of reading that, I have cared so much less about them. It is just not my season to have clean windows, but it was nice to, to do a little spring clean. All right, this is the part I've been dreading. You, If you have kids, you know <laughs> there is tiny pieces to everything. There's not enough room to store them. Even though we do toy rotations, it is difficult. But here I am taking the time to actually like polish this furniture. I cleaned it out, I vacuumed it out, went through all of the toys, and it was a really good opportunity to see that what was broken, what we didn't need duplicates of. I brought some things to the thrift store. I put batteries in new things and yeah, I just had a fun time going through this. However, it did not last very long <laughs> as things often do. It, it looked nice for about mm, maybe an hour and then Draven woke up from quiet time, but such is life with kids and honestly, it doesn't bug me too much. Okay, here we are going through them like I said. I I feel like toys, kids toys are something that I do have a passion for. I really do like open-ended play. I I do like Montessori toys. However, as you can tell, that's not really perfect. 
I really like cultivating the boy's interest with Denver. I, I know he likes light touch toys. He likes lights. He likes music. With Draven, he likes pretend play. He likes figurines. He loves these Magna tiles. I have went through three different brands and I have a strong preference on one and it is not the one I spent the most money on. But I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in me doing a video on the kids' toys. Obviously with Denver, I've put a lot of work in finding toys that he can play with. But with honestly both the kids, I feel like I've done a really good job on finding toys that both of them can play with and also toys that will last us a long time. So if you guys would be interested in that, I'd really like to do a video on that. I'd love to hear your opinion. I figured out real quick why I do not do this very often. It is a very big workout. I was sweating. It was hard. I kept a lot of clips in with the kids, primarily Draven. I do tend to clean when the kids are napping. I do it while they're awake too, but for recording purposes, I definitely did it while they were sleeping. So Draven's in some of these clips when he wakes up. Denver sleeps quite a bit, even more so when he's sick. So it's honestly just Draven. But if you, if you watch closely, He's so sweet. <laughs> he was helping me in earlier clips and I love it. I love, he's such a big help. He loves to be right there everywhere I go. My little shadow. I was getting quite frustrated. Our attachment to this didn't work like the spray nozzle. So I had to put solution in a bottle and it kept on moving on me cause it's a rocking chair. So I was getting <laughs> a little annoyed, but I did it. I'm sorry if you don't find this satisfying, but I do. <laughs> Gross. All right, I am done. I'm seeing the fruits of my labor. It looks so good. I'm in love with our new sofa. However, I feel like it needs something above to kind of complete the whole room. So let me know what you guys would put. I thought about a circle mirror. I have quite a few as you can tell, but I'm a little scared of it falling on the kids. <laughs> I need something maybe lighter. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I also wanted to show you these posters. I ordered them through Vistaprint, 16 by 24, significantly cheaper than a picture. And I am done. My time to chill out. <laughs> Hi, it's a few days later. Hi. And I've just spent the last few naps for the kiddos editing this video. And I just, again, wanted to say a big, a big thank you to Valencia Home Theater Seating for this beautiful gift. Everyone in the family has loved it. Draven is about to make it a rocket ship, <laughs> but he's also been making the box a rocket ship. We were very careful to preserve it. So I'll show you guys some clips of that. Five, nine, eight, ten. 
in five, four, three, two, one. What's up? What's up? Good job. This is a big uh, spaceship. Jupiter and the moon are Jupiter. Jupiter and the moon, that's a good, that's a good, good agenda. But we are just so happy. It's really elevated our living room at a much needed color. And we've spent a lot more time in here. We're actually having a board game night tonight. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. A board game night? Hmm. Yes. Just wanted again to say thank you so much. Um, and thank you guys all for loving and watching. I know this is a video. You love you. Oh, I love you too. I know that this is a video that is a little bit different from my other stuff, but this is the type of content that I like to watch myself. And I know if you've been watching for a little while, I've kind of mentioned that I want to start making some clean with me's and like what I eat in a week videos as a family. Very busy season for us and it's so nice to have this living room feel so complete. I'm very happy. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Where are you headed, Santa? To a new house?